Check this out. Bunch of ass. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I just turn this bait inside out. guys what is happening my name is Mike and this is Pond Hopper Fishing listen guys we've got a special treat in store for you guys today I'm gonna do a little bed fishing all right a lot of people have done bed fishing before right how many people have done bed fishing with big swim baits that's what we're gonna be doing today guys more 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 or less realistic swim baits so we're gonna put these uh, these little guys right up on the bed of some big old big old bug-eyed beauties and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish now I've got four different types that I'm gonna use today so we've got the Banff Shad the 8 inch and I mean this is an absolute monster so I'm gonna have to find a big girl to smash this one I have got the Banff Shad and this is like five and a half or five and a quarter I cannot remember and then I've got a little feller called the Dine and this replicates shad, I mean, perfectly. This is like, just when the shad, shad starts to spawn, this is the size of all the shad that I'm seeing. So this one I know will get eaten. This one I know will get eaten. I'm not real sure about this one. We'll have to find out. Now, I'm also gonna use a Huddleston. All right, six inch Huddleston. And uh, we're, gonna see, we're gonna see if we can get Get some bites on this. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a huge Huddleston fan yet, guys. So, you know, we'll see. But 13 fishing, Bamp Shad, 13 fishing to dine. That's what's up. And I think that is what's gonna get done. All right, if you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Guys, I got a giveaway going and I am almost at 750 subscribers, which is a giveaway. I've got like, I think like 31 more subscribers to go. So get over to my Instagram guys and check out that giveaway. It's for a Concept A2 by 13 Fishing. You guys do not want to miss out on it. It is a phenomenal reel. Uh, most of the work that, well, so in this video, I'm going to use the Concept A3, which is the big reel, and then the Concept A2. So you guys are going to see what kind of work it puts in. All right, guys, hope you liked the video and we'll see you out at the spot all right guys so <clears throat> check this out there's a bass out here he's probably four four to five pounds i don't know if he's big enough to eat this eight inch bamp shad but we're gonna bring it through we're gonna try it out we're gonna see if he even gets mad at it or if it's just too big it honestly might be too big for this one I'm pretty sure it's too big for this one, actually. I don't know why I'm saying probably. She's eating it. There's no way. There's no way she can eat this thing. We're going to catch this one, though. All right, we're going to downsize. Guys, this is just too big of a bait for her. Time to break out the little brother. Bam, Chad. The five and a quarter. She's going to eat this. She's already... She was super aggressive on... Or he, one of them, he, she, whatever. I don't know. Could be a male. Super aggressive on protecting it. Oh yeah, this one's getting chewed. This one's getting chewed. He damn it. Now. Turn on it, come on. There we go. <clears throat> That's how you do that. It's a good way to start out. Told you, knew it was gonna work. Chill, chill. I don't need you to destroy it, okay? Wow. That's a strong fish. 
when you hook these things right, it is amazing. There we go. Nice fish to start the day. Fish number one. Oh my God. Oh, that's the eye to my, that's the eye to my lure. Look at that. I thought I had third eye. I'm not even kidding. That's how dumb I am. That's the eye of my lure, crap. All right, well, it's not gonna be looking as realistic. All right, let's get a good release on her. All right, so that fish absolutely just mauled this uh, swim bait, guys. All right, guys, we were, I was just walking to the spot and all of a sudden I saw some really, really big bass. I mean, there's some mammoths over here. I mean, there's like schools and schools of them. Oh yeah, destroyed the hood. You gotta be kidding me. How does that happen? I did not know that they were that weak. All right, come on girl. I'm fishing more beds over here, guys. So I'm hoping that these bass turn and come back. Not, there's one that's big for sure. Oh, that was awesome! That was a sweet eat. I washed them and I didn't set the hook right again. Oh, killing me. Stay on it. Jeez. Finally.
he actually hooks at him. That's what happens. There we go. That's it, buddy. Good work. Proud of you. All right, let's roll with this. Let's see if we see anything. It is hard to see down here now. That's a big bait. Oh, there's one right here. This is small though. No way. You're not eating that thing. You're not filling your mouth. Oh, she's definitely eating it though. So, okay. If we get a big one on bed and we can tempt her enough, this thing's getting eaten, guys. You're not big enough, dude. Oh, this one is though. This one is. This one is. Oh my, oh my, oh my, this, oh. That bass is big enough to eat this. I hope that you guys just saw that. All right, let me get the small one and uh, we'll be right back and we're gonna catch this one. Just swallow it. I need you to swallow it, okay? There we go. Oh, does it again. I'm telling you. Stop. Pretty sure. Just stop. Just stop. These bass are absolutely mauling this bait. This is much bigger than I thought, by the way. Oh, barely hooked. Guys, I... I mean, it wasn't even hooked. <laughs> she just couldn't get off. Okay. Bass number two. And, uh... Yep, they're crushing this bamf shed, guys. All right. All right, let's appreciate this. This is what the bass did. It turned it turned the spade inside out. I mean, that's crazy. Turn and up and through, and on to the next fish. Now these bed fish. I mean, guys, I gotta say they're they're absolutely destroying this thing. So, all right, let's move on. Let's find another one. But nice. Bring it in there. She's definitely spooked. She was going full bore at this thing before. Okay, here she comes. Here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Okay, she got it. There we go. <clears throat> okay. That hit bank, guys. We caught her. <laughs> but she definitely is uh, getting spooked. Oh, good. I still got my other eyeball. Whew. So these fish are absolutely wrecking this thing. Um, I'm going to go look for a big one. All right. There's some action going on. There we go. She finally took it. I might have side hooked her. Yep. So she ate it. No, I got her in the mouth. This is a dink compared to what we've been catching. Okay, nice and out. A little dink compared to what we've been catching, guys. That's a male. Tilapia coming in. Watch this. Hopefully, smacks a tilapia. There we go. There we go. Uh 
Uh huh. It's a nice fish. Pretty, pretty fish. Looking good. Let's get her back and uh, try and get an actual tanker. So they're here. They just don't want to play yet. Because if these males are on bed, that means there's bigger females. And if these males are three or four pounds, the females are going to be giant. Got done. Solid one. <sighs> Working on a full moon this weekend, guys. Let's go. It's gonna do it for tonight. All right, guys. Hey, welcome back, and thank you for watching this uh, episode, guys. If you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you guys like this video, hey, give me a like. All right, guys. Let's talk about these baits that. I was using so these sweet little baits by uh, 13 fishing. It's called the Bamp Shad. I've got the five and a half or five and a quarter or something like that, which is obviously the bait that's going to get eaten more since it's smaller and it gives you a better range of fish that are going to actually eat it. And then the eight inch monster Bamp Shad. Um, the fish were so aggressive. They were trying to eat this. They just couldn't fit this 12 ot owner hook in their mouth. All right, look at the side of that hook, guys. Um, and then I caught my first fish on a Huddleston. And uh, I had to do some repairs with glue, guys. If you guys remember, I caught one fish on this, and it got completely destroyed. Um, I talked to some people, and they're like, yeah, it's actually kind of common. Some of the guys who are big Huddleston fishers cut their things, cut the baits down the center when they first get them, and then glue them in. Anyway, guys, this was just a cool little uh, a cool little uh, day out because I wanted to target all these fish that were on beds, and I didn't want to do it with a jig. I didn't want to do it with a Texas rig. Uh, I wanted to do it with something a little different, so I targeted them with big swim baits. And uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you like, once again, if you guys did like it and you weren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Um, guys, don't forget about the giveaway. As soon as I get to 750 subscribers, then guess what? I'm giving away a concept A2 by 13 Fishing. And we're at like 719, 720 right now, so we're getting real close. And you guys gotta head over to my Instagram to get in on that giveaway. And my Instagram is at Fishing on Instagram. You'll see my mug on there, it'll be me. Watch out for fake accounts though, because evidently uh, people wanna use a fake account for me. I don't know, I have no idea why. Small time, guys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like I say, right plot, right place, right time, right bait, and a whole lot of luck. Cheers, guys. Keep on fishing.